Good evening. We begin with something you will no doubt be thinking about on your next dog walk in Idaho's many desert regions. Rattlesnakes. A Meridian dog is recovering tonight after a rattler bit him five times. Our Shiro Matsuzawa is here now with what happened and how that dog is doing. Shira? Mark, fortunately his owners say he's over the hump and doing much better, but they say they've noticed a lot of snakes recently in the desert south of Kuna, and they're hoping that by sharing what happened to their dog, it'll help more people, with pets at least, be more mindful. That's a good boy. Debbie and Fritz Brownell are showering their German short hair pointer of 10 years with a little extra affection these days. Oh, he's my best bud. Last week, a rattlesnake bit their dog, Toad, while he was running in an area south of Cuna. As I approached him, I saw a snake uh, cartwheeling in the air. When I got up to him, um, I kept him between me and the snake, and when I went in and grabbed him, big mistake, there were multiple snakes. Fritz says Toad was playing with the snakes. We've taken him through the snake avoidance classes. He's just a dog that there's nothing you can do. He he thinks snakes are a toy. Like once I realized that there was more than one snake, I uh, screamed like a little girl and I stepped it out of there and um, got him to the road. The venom took effect immediately. Fritz says Toad was bit five times and began bleeding from his lips and gums. He got bitten on uh, both sides of his face and then several times on his left front leg, and uh, he swelled up right away. There was a span there where it didn't look like he was going to make it, um, but the vets did a great job, brought him through. That was just really very scary. You know, they were part of the family. So Friday was especially very scary, and then they gave him a second dose of the anti-venom Friday night. As Toad continues to heal, the couple is now sharing what happened as a warning for pet owners. So people need to be aware when they're out and about with their with their pets and their children, you know, hiking or wherever, you've got to be aware. We've we've encountered rattlesnakes in other places too. So you just have to be aware and alert and uh, very vigilant. Fritz tells me he takes the blame for what happened because he knew there were snakes out there, but he says this has served as a learning lesson now, and he's not going to run Toad out there until it freezes. Meantime, Idaho Fish and Game tell me that there isn't one area where rattlesnakes are congregating right now, but their best advice for people running their dogs in the foothills or the desert is to keep them on a leash.